Well, get ready for a special ride underwater to explore shipwrecks in the Straits of Mackinac. The Great Lakes serve as graveyards for thousands of ships over the centuries. They are preserved by the fresh cold water that makes them perfect attractions for scuba divers, like Action News videographer Chris Jones. On a spectacular Saturday morning, I traveled underneath the Mackinac Bridge from St. Ignace aboard the wreck diver to Lake Michigan for a day of shipwreck diving. We attract divers from all over the world. Uh, we've routinely had people come up to dive uh, in the Straits Mackinac area from uh, all across Europe, um, Asia. It, it's, it's really world-class diving, something that you just you can't do um, almost any place else. The first wreck is the Sandusky, a sailing ship that sunk before the Civil War. It rests in 80 feet of water. So the Sandusky sank in 1856 uh, in a storm with a collision of ice in around 80 feet of water. And unfortunately, in that incident, all the hands were lost uh, in the sinking. I think probably one of the things that makes the Sandusky uh, one of the, the premier dives in the Straits is that it's available to anyone. You have the, the, the allure of the fact that it's, it's one of the oldest wrecks that we dive in the Straits. Uh, the, the figure had the bow sprint. Uh, it has a number of dead eyes that are still on it. Um, but it's, it's really a dive that anyone can do. Very often we take not, you know, newer divers up there, they're able to ha go down and have a fantastic experience, it, it, just like the, the, the veterans who come and, and want to dive. Um, the couple we had from Scandinavia last year, uh, they, they wanted to dive specifically on the Sandusky, just because, it, again, it, it's, it's, it's such an iconic wreck. After surfacing to change tanks, I dove down to the 140-year-old Northwest. The boiler is attacked in the center of the wreck, um, so that's certainly always something that's kind of, of neat to see in, in some of these wrecks where they were making the transition from sail power to steam power. There are many, many more wrecks to dive in the Great Lakes for all levels of scuba divers. New wrecks are discovered all the time. They believe up to 10,000 ships over the centuries have been lost in the Great Lakes. We know where approximately 1,000 of those wrecks actually sit. Chris Jones, Channel 7 Action News.